and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi on this beautiful summer's day. It's about 40 million degrees at the moment. I'm here to take you around our 2009 Kia Sportage, 2009 Sportage LX, that's the word I'm looking for. Really like these cars, they work and work. Really good condition this car and that's what this video is going to mostly be about. What I want to talk about the front first, obviously iconic styling. Now I usually like to find damage, if there is damage I will point it out. I can't find a single stone chip on the front of this car, it is that clean. Even the bonnet right the way back, not a sign of a chip on it. Nice clear headlights as well as our fog lights a little lower there as well. Around the side of the vehicle there is a minor little scrape just there. It's about two knuckles long, a little white scrape, a little lower. We'll see if our detail are going to have a little bit of a look at that. One of the good things on this car, you're not going to have to spend a cent in maintaining it. You've got brand new tyres on this car, masses of tread, all four tyres brand new. Coming down the side, nice clear indicators in the guard there. Mud flaps all around as well to keep the rocks off the paintwork and they've done a brilliant job. Not a sign of a scratch or a nick along the side of this car. Really, really good condition. Have tinted windows on the front and the back. Probably could go a little darker on the front. Have a chat to Jess about that when you're inside. Up the top, we've got our little roof rails here, ready to put the racks across if you'd like to. Give you that little bit more storage. Great condition alloy wheel at the back. Yet again, brand new tyre. They're that new. They've still got the fuzzy things on them. You know what? Lynn, zoom in and show us the fuzzy things. Oh, check them out. They're everywhere. That's nice. Anyway, I digress. Coming around to the back of the car, Nice thing here with the Sportage, a really good looking car at the back. We'll do a little bit in detail what happens back here. Dual exhaust tips as well, I like that. A little tiny little dent there in the rubber trim. It looks like a little bit of a cut, something's, something. It's had a little bit of a life, but that's probably the worst bit on the car. Just a little nick just there. Coming around the side of the car, with that angle you're on right now, you can see not a single shopping trolley dent or anything. This being the curb side of the vehicle, quite often where you see damage from that evil concrete thing we call a gutter, none of that here. Yet again, brand new tyres, unmarked alloy wheels. I can't even find a fingernail scratch in the side, inside the door cups. Really, really clean. I cannot stress enough how clean this car actually is. Very impressive. Around to the front of the Sportage now, we're going to talk about the engine and all of its goodness. Lift that up, little bonnet stay pops up, up there, out of our way. One thing to note, top of the bonnet there, nice and clean, no signs of any damage up there. And the motor is quite low in this car, gives it a nice sporty handling doing that. You are looking at a four-cylinder, two-litre motor there. It's going to give you 104 kilowatts of power, 184 newton metres of torque. Now that's combined up to a four-speed automatic transmission. You're going to get on average 9.2 litres to the 100. Now out of a really cheap to fill 58 litre tank, you're going to get 630 kilometres of average range. So great power and even better economy. Ah, we're at the back of the Kia Sportage now. A lot to talk about back here. Doesn't have a tow bar fitted. You could do that, have a chat to Jess about that again. Good news is, hasn't towed any weight, had a nice easy life in the engine and transmission. As I mentioned before, slight nick there, nice dual chrome tips there as well. A cool feature this ca car has, if you hold that button there, you can open up just the glass and gives you nice access to put a, just a single bag of shopping in there if you want, or let the dog have some air on a day like today, probably wants a bit. Lift the tailgate up there, gas struts, take it out of our way, nice and high actually. Really good clearance there. In the back here, a really versatile car actually. I've got a little bit of background music for this one as well. How cool is that? Lots of storage nooks, lots of ways to live with this car that make it really easy. Notice under here, full size alloy spare. We've got all our tools, heaps of space in there for umbrellas and tool kits and medical kits, everything you'd ever want to put in there. You have tie downs everywhere around the back of this car. Little nooks in the places as well. 12 volt socket over there, probably can't see it, but it is there. One thing I have done is I've got the seats folded down in the 60-40 here, and you'll notice almost perfectly flat, if not flat there. So you can go to Ikea, put in the big box, and away you go. Another thing to note, we've talked about the anchor points, three child seat anchor points here as well, so you can put little Timmy wherever you want him to go. Hello, we're inside the car now. Inside the Kia, a really nice place to be actually, quite comfortable too. Nice laid out dashboard, you'll notice I like the way the door trims, everything just lays out really, really well. We'll start off with the steering wheel here, just pop that down and you can adjust it in height there. You set yourself up where you want to be, lock it away, nice and comfy. Good leather wrapped steering wheel here as well. 
Might be a little tough to see. I'll try and slide it around to that side. It is upside down now. Cruise control stalk on, up, down, off you go. Very similar to the Toyota system now. I'm surprised they got stole that actually. Moving across to the right where my cameraman normally likes me to start. We've got our power window switches here as well as our door lock so my cameraman I can lock him in here forever. Nice, nice trim here, little dotted pattern, I like that. Little mirror control there, door pull and little speaker there in the door. Below that, you've got a little dash brightness light there, as well as ESP off. Why you'd turn electronic stability control off is beyond me, but you do have a button there if you feel like being a bit hoonish. We, um, oh, this car actually comes with email and bacon. I like that, email and bacon. I think that's on and off, but we'll go with email and bacon. Key, we've got our headlights here, turn them on, indicators as well as the fog lights as well. Up, nice dashboard, really easy to read, nice and nice and good to read on the highways there, 110, bang in the center, nice and easy. Just on 80, just under 83,000 kilometers, 82,888 kilometers on the car, wipers over this side and obviously rear wiper as well. One thing to note, quite commonly you see the little text here get worn off on these cars, really good condition on all of the buttons actually as well. Moving across, under our little Berwick Mitsubishi air freshener there, we have the rear fog light button if you feel like being high beam, probably best used in the snow, as well as a clock, little hazard light there is next to our air conditioning vents which are pumping out great cold air today. Below that, we've got our double din head unit here, nice and easy to use, on, up, but more volume, nice and simple. One thing to note, if you wanted to add navigation into this vehicle, Jessie, who I've mentioned a couple of times, can fit a navigation unit in there. Do ask her about that great feature. Below this, you've got obviously our aircon currently set to fan speed 2. Can't even hear it. I reckon I could cheat and go up to 3 and you still wouldn't hear it. And get a little bit more cool air on us. Currently on AC max and you can obviously set where you want your temperature. One thing to note, my, dad, my camera is going to get confused. I'm going to go this way. If you like to scare your passengers, they've got a place to hold on to on this car. I like that. So if you're ever off-road or anything, they can hang on for their dear life. <laughs> Coming down again, we've got a little 12-volt socket there. Great for charging your phone or your iPad or anything when you're out and about. Two giant cup holders there as well for your big gulps. Nice automatic transmission. Leather, leather wrap shifter there. R for race, N for night mode, D for drive, and then sports mode if you're feeling sporty. Pop that back in the park so it don't roll away. Got a handbrake there as well, a couple of little button blanks, as well as in hidden away in here for the audio system, we do have the Oxian and the USB port there as well to charge your phone. Got a little knock for your coins. Nice carpet lined glove box in there that is really deep. And I've actually missed a little bit here. We pop that down, there's another one here. So you put your phone in there and then plug it into there. That's pretty neat, they've given you a little gap for it. Shut this down as well, pop that little button and we can actually, you'll notice that it lifts up so you can have a nice armrest as well. Nice feature that, really thought ahead. What I'm getting my cameraman to do right now is have a little look around the interior. You probably won't see my driver's seat because I'm sitting on it. Not a sign of any damage on the leather at all. Partial leather in this car so you get the looks of leather, the comfort of cloth. Unmarked, can't find a stain on this vehicle. It is really, really clean. Same in the back as well, really good condition back there. Someone has looked after this car. Now, Lynn's getting used to me. Something I always talk about on his way back is the roof lining of a vehicle. Quite often in family cars, you see kids have scratched it or kicked it or whatever, they, you know, they get all over the place. And lines, none of that here. It shows the, how clean this car really is. And the story's gonna get better because we've got the service manual. These are the things you can do with this car. You can be happy, you can go, that's it being built fly a plane, go to the beach, and be happy again at the end there. There's some very happy people. Coming into the service books, I keep getting distracted, don't I? We've got brilliant service history on this car. Complim the complimentary service was done on this vehicle, shows a good owner. Serviced again, 16.8, had a little bit of a gap here, but was serviced again at 31 at a Mitsubishi dealership where they did the brake fluid as well. Coming through, we've got east side Mitsubishi almost all the way through, really good service history. Actually, a lot of them are done early, which is nice to see once it's been caught up. Then we've got over here, 68,000 to 78. So that actually hasn't been skipped. And then obviously done by us when we brought it into stock all of 30 kilometers ago. So just done its 125 point safety check and full robe worthy. This car is brilliant condition inside and the story is just getting better with those books, isn't it? This has been our walk around video showing the brilliant condition of our 2009 Kia, Kia Sportage LX. As you've seen, amazing condition on the outside, brand new tires, stunning condition inside. 
great service books, great power, great economy. This one is ticking all of the boxes. Do give us a call, 9709 2999. Don't forget to ask your salesperson about a five year mechanical protection plan on this car. That we're now including five years of roadside assist in that as well. This car does qualify for that, as well as our finance options we can provide for this vehicle as well. The number again, 9709 2999. And thank you for watching. Thank you.